Greetings peeps, welcome to another episode of Kitchen Queers. We chat on the balcony here with you. Today I'm going to show you how to create a gorgeous cut flower container garden. It's time for Kitchen Queers! Why a cut flower container garden? I love to have fresh flowers in the house and having your own right on the balcony makes it super easy to make a vase full of flowers happen almost any time. To create the cut flower container garden you'll need one 20 inch plastic pot with saucer, two cubic feet top quality potting soil, one to two packages of zinnia seeds, and three tomato cages. To create the screen protector you'll need two yards synthetic screen and two to three binder clips. To start our project, I've placed the pot in the saucer and filled the pot with potting soil up to about one half inch below the rim. Next, I'm going to place three tomato cages evenly spaced in the pot. Why am I putting tomato cages in the flower garden? The tomato cages will help the flowers remain upright as they grow, so the stems will be nice and straight for cutting. Now it's time to plant the seeds. Today, I'm planting zinnia seeds. The techniques I'm showing you today will also work to grow cosmos, bachelor buttons, and sunflowers. Plant the seeds according to the package directions. I simply use my finger to poke holes throughout the soil and then drop a seed in each hole. Next, use your hand to smooth the soil over all of the holes. Now I'm going to gently water the soil with a fine spray so the seeds do not get disturbed. Keep the soil nice and moist so the seeds do not dry out during germination. Once the seeds have germinated, protect the seedlings from bugs and birds by swaddling the tomato cages with synthetic screen. Binder clips will hold the screen to the cages and are easy to remove once your seedlings get taller. If you don't have any binder clips, close pins will work just fine. Depending on the variety of flowers you've planted, your location and weather conditions, it can take three to four months to grow a mature pot of flowers for cutting. The most important element to success is watering. Don't let your cut flower container garden ever completely dry out. I usually water every day. Don't be afraid to cut your zinnias to enjoy indoors. The more you cut, the more they bloom. Be sure to cut just above a set of leaves. This will allow the plant to send out more flowers. I'm gonna go put these beauties in some fresh water. These zinnias make excellent cut flowers and last for a very long time in a vase or a beer mug. Hey, like our cool rainbow logo gear? Get your own at kitchenqueers.com. Just click on the lifestyle button. Thank you for joining us, Kitchen Queers. See you next time. Kitchen